In this problem, we have to find the partial derivative of z with respect to x and with respect to y. So we're going to use the quotient rule. So to recall the quotient rule, here is the formula. So we have f over g, and we take the derivative. And the way I do it is it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom 1 squared. So let's go ahead and do um, del z del x first. So when, when we compute del z del x, all of the y's are constants. Okay, so we're treating all of the y's are con as constants. So the derivative of the top, so the derivative of xy, so we're treating all of the y's as constants. So the y hangs out, the derivative of x is 1. So the derivative of the top is just, is just y times the bottom, x squared plus y squared, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom. And again, we're taking the derivative with respect to x, so the derivative of x squared is 2x, and then the derivative of y squared is 0. And it's all over the bottom 1 squared. So x squared plus y squared squared. Let's go over that again. So the derivative of the top with respect to x, so the derivative of x is 1, the y hangs out because it's constant, times the bottom piece, minus the top piece, times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 2x, because the derivative of y squared is 0. And the bottom one here is being squared. So let's distribute the y. So we get yx squared plus y cubed minus, and then looks like 2, and then x times x is x squared, and then y. All of this is over x squared plus y squared squared. Let's see, does anything cancel here? Yeah, it looks like these cancel. So we have yx squared, and then we have minus 2yx squared. That's going to be minus yx squared plus y cubed. And on the bottom we have x squared plus y squared squared. So that's the partial with respect to x. Let's do the partial with respect to um, y. So I'll do it up here. So del z del y. So now all of the x's are constants, right? So we're taking the partial with respect to y. So all of the x's are constants. So the derivative of the top piece here, so the derivative of y is 1, so we just get x, because it hangs out, times the bottom, x squared plus y squared, minus the top, so xy, times the derivative of the bottom. So now the derivative of x squared will be 0, so we'll just get 2y, all over the bottom 1 squared, so x squared plus y squared, and that's all being squared. Let's clean this up. So this is x cubed, x times x squared is x cubed, plus xy squared, minus, looks like 2xy squared, and it's all over x squared plus y squared squared. Ridiculous. It's pretty tricky. <laughs> um, I think these cancel, well, you can combine like terms, rather. So you have xy squared minus 2xy squared. That's going to give us negative xy squared plus x cubed. And the bottom, oh, i got to squeeze it in here. We still have the x squared plus y squared squared. I could not write any smaller, so um, I hope that made sense. That's it.